You think you know me. I'm really, really, really tired. But there's well, there only two episodes left in this whole play, so I might as well get them done. Hello everyone, welcome back to Cross Party War. Yes, it is true. The Bandicoot has brought all of the crystals and all of the gems to me. Ultimate power is mine. The world as we know it is about to end. In the last episode, we did some backtracking into the levels that we didn't 100%. And well, here we go. Final boss again. It's the same battle. Nothing's changed. It's not even any harder. Oh, by the way, here's the completely RNG mines that are still a thing. Yeah, this is this is one of those run killer bosses that it will just kill your run. And completely screw you over if it wants to. Or it can try, at least. If you stay on this side, then you ha should have enough time to react to, you know, where the first mine lands. And once you know the first two, you should be fine. Right, second hit again. One more revival. Then you two are going to be knocking it down right on top of me. Now let's see if I can time this perfectly. Nope. It doesn't matter what height you're on. They will just duke it out. Right. That's not the place I wanted it to be in. But it worked. Don't come here. Thank you. And that's the end. Get me out of here. No! They cut on me! Not a prisoner of time again! Ah! Oh dear, we may have generated a black hole. The Time Twister machine could not hold itself together. We were lucky to escape. Hey, Dino! Give me the mask! With it I shall take over the world! Come on! It is difficult to say what has happened to our enemies. I doubt we will see them for a long time. There we go. That was Craft Bandicoot Ward. In my opinion... In my very tired opinion... The best of the original three. I mean, the first one was challenging. Maybe a little bit too challenging for the first timers. The second game was good, but I just prefer this one over it. Or maybe, maybe I don't. I really don't know which one is better. This or the second one. They're both really good. I can't pick which one is better. It kind of depends on the mood, I mean. But generally, I believe this is the better game. So, uh, uh, this is normally... <sighs> this is normally the point where I start talking about, you know, the next series, but... I kinda can't do that yet since, you know, there's secrets to be found. But I might as well talk it anyway, you know? no one cares about this. 
this episode anyway. So, what have what I planned for myself next? Mm, I was thinking about doing a blind playthrough of Bioshock Infinite. Like a complete blind playthrough. But then I kind of start thinking maybe I should do Sonic Heroes. Because if I am ever gonna play Sonic Heroes, I have a plan for it. How I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, by the way, here's the developer times right there. How accurate is that to my list? It's good, it's accurate, so my list is accurate. Now what when we get to double header? The time on that one. Right, here it comes. 56 seconds. My best is 55.93. And that was right there. You saw it. It was 56, so... I, I'm legit faster than the devs in doubleheader. So there you go. Oh, spoilers for the two hidden levels. Well, you saw the level names. Now we have to go and do them. We actually have to go and do them. Also, for whatever reason, the music volume just fucks up into Narnia in that. No real reason why it would change. Didn't gain any percentage though, so that's kind of an odd one. Right, the two secret levels, they can be both found in the third warp room. The first one... Oh, now we get the platinum times at least. Yeah, I was starting to wonder, with this being so incredibly tight, that what was the platinum time? Because my PB is only two tenths faster than the platinum time. And I was starting to wonder, did I even get platinum? And of course I did. All of my times are platinum. All of them, I've gotten all platinums in this game, so... Kind of just forgot that fact. Anyway... The first secret level... Is in this level, Rogue Crash. And it's kind of early on. Kind of isn't, it's like maybe 20 seconds into the level. I froze time like for 3 seconds, so just add 3 seconds to that time. So yeah, it's about 20 seconds into the level. We go past this and this sound looks kind of weird, don't you think? And I, the first time I, I found this by complete accident. I just was, I was just crashing into every sign, and this was just an ordinary sign. I hit that, I was extremely confused of what was going on. And then, and then, this level showed up. Welcome to level 31, Hot Cocoa. It has a gem in it, with the boxes, it has a time trial in it. And the exit is right there. Now you may be wondering. If I bring a mask, can I just go right to the end? No. If you decide to bring a mask into this level, you will lose it immediately. I will prove that when we go and do the time trial. Because this is one completely, well, not completely, open level. Because it has this huge area that goes around the volcano. And it has stuff in it. I'm probably actually going to be missing some of this stuff. So don't yell to me when I 
when I'm going to be missing stuff. Because it's going to be, it's going to happen. We all know it. Now the way I usually run through this level is I stick to outside first. Or close to outside first. Get the boxes there. I come around this part. Oh, by the way, there are um, checkpoints. You can hit, actually go and hit all the checkpoints in a row if you really want to. I would recommend saving, saving them when you have, you know, a certain amount of boxes, or uh, or you have completed a certain area. Now, the reason why I stick to the outside area first is well. I can hit that Nitro Detonator, so now we can go and leave the level if we want to. Which we're not gonna be doing. Just yet, we still need another 29 boxes. Now the reason why I do that is because if I go through the inside of this level, which is right next to the volcano, there is going to be some Nitro blocked walls. And I do mean that they are walls being blocked by nitro, so... I just find it easier to go through the outside first, get that nitro out of the way, and then move on. There should be a checkpoint there, thank you. Wow, that draw distance. There we go. Now we go backwards. So just wanted to get those boxes out of the way. This is a kind of a narrow one, if you don't know what you're doing. Also, some of the boxes can be kind of a thick ones, like that one underwater. Oh, another checkpoint. I might as well hit it. I'm not gonna be coming back. Yeah, you may be wondering how the hell do I get that? Well, just keep your no nose down. And by that I mean just press down. And hope to God that you will dive and get that. And not do what I keep doing, which is going under the goddamn box. There we go. Got it. Now, did I miss anything here? I did. Yeah, this level is kind of a huge one, in, and with the draw distance of the PS1, it's kind of easy to just lose yourself where you are. And even though this kind of looks crisp, it's because of an em emulator. Emulator makes it makes the graphics look shiny, but not good, but shiny, but it's not good. Well, it does the job. At least. There we go, the final checkpoint. Just to get these four boxes. That's a trick, nice little bomb wall there, because if you try to jump over them, you won't. You'll just crash into them. And there we go, that is our first Echo Gem. Oh, I should have actually sh uh, shown the gem count. There we go, Hot Coco. Apparently with the crash icon, even though Coco is the one doing all the work. Yeah, because nor you know, that said 42 gems, now it's just 43. And we, since we've discovered a, a level, now... Now the relic count has gone up, which means there are 30 levels, two of them just seems to be hidden one. And the thing is, I've already got 15 platinum, so I'm at least going to be tying the amount of platinums I get, compared to how many golds I'm going to get. So that's a good thing. Now I was trying to, I just, yeah. Tiredness is kicking in with me not being able to speak, but, but I can't speak anyway, so there you go. Now if we pick up this mask... Now do I keep the mask when I leave it? I should be, or do I have to go through the exit? Can't remember, I have to go through the exit. Fine, BRB. Alright, now that I have actually have a mask... We're gonna be playing the impossible game of doing this by, uh, by fast following this. Which is kind of difficult. 
Yeah, though I seem to be really good. There we go. Friendly back on. I have two masks. Watch them disappear when I go into this level. Poof. They're gone. Now you may be thinking, oh well, they are just invisible or they've glitched out, they are somewhere in the horizon. Well, explain that then. No, they are gone. Now if you get really lucky with the waves, you can actually jump those nitros. But I'm never lucky with anything, so I just have to do this the old boring way. And I've already got the, forgot the route that I like to use. Luckily this is a short one, the main gimmick of this whole time trial is just get get to the Nitro Denrider and back as fast as you can. And if I remember right, every single box apart from the checkpoints are turned into time boxes, so you might want to go two different routes. Like this first one, I'll stick to the outside. Get the boxes here. That does mean going through this, you know. So be good with your controls and don't overdo it. Now that we've actually made it to the end, we just hit the detonator and now race our way back. Preferably with hitting some boxes or jumping over them and hitting the bombs. That's not really the uh, strategy I would use, but you know, you can do that if you want. Now we race our way back. I'm, I'm back by the way, let's hit these time boxes instead. Jump them. That's always a advisable strategy. Let's just hit this, get that clock frozen, and then sprint to the exit. Sprint, 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 sprint. Where's the exit? Don't take a straight line, I'm gonna be losing time. No! Still good for a plan. Right, that's platinum number 16 and hot cocoa completed! Nice flips. And thank you. You can't actually tell what the um, time limits are for that. Because you. Oh, the, uh, the only time the time limits show up is here. And since that's a secret one. I don't have a bloody clue what the time limits are. In fact, if I take a look at my list of what the gold times are, for, two, for the two secret levels I have question mark question mark. Because I don't know. I honestly don't know what they are. They could be anything. I've, I've even read online that you will always get platinum out of them. That is not true, I've gotten gold out of them. Well, anyway, let's fast forward this a little bit because I can. Let's go to the second hidden level, or secret level. It can be found here, in the secret path of all places. The first one was kind of visible, this one. Not entirely sure how you're really supposed to find this out, you know. But, first things first, you don't want a mask. That should... no crap. That should already give a hint of where this is. You don't want a mask, you wanna go past this and hit this! Hit that enemy, it will fly away. And take you to a secret level. What? The ass. Like seriously, what the hell? And this is kind of a throwback, because this is all oh, 2D platforming. There's no boxes here. With 
which you can see by the fact that there's no box counter here. So this is just straight up 2D platforming. You can do this without the dino, but the dino helps. Also stopping helps. And this is the only level in this entire game where you can get Wumper Fruit during a time trial. And extra lives during a time trial. You can do this without Dino, which I'm gonna be proving right now. Which so close to the exit, you can do that. You can do this. Now if I remember right there, or I don't even remember. It looks like that there could be a really sneaky shortcut you can do. Right here, let me see. It's not a thing. Fine. And since this is all 2D platforming, you might as well just grab the clock. Because you're not gonna be losing any lives here. If you do in the time travel, and since there's no boxes, yeah, you might as well go for it. And no boxes means no checkpoints. It's all one go. And just like the rings of power, if you wanna be f good here, you just have to be good. You don't have to get lucky. That That's of course a lucky play. You need to get lucky with, um, you know, the engines. But that's, that's not, not a biggie. I also like the fact that my controls lock, uh, lock up. Now oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh well, there's the gem. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, no one near the PB. Also, good luck trying to do this multiple times. Because if I remember right, whenever you actually beat this stage with a time trial, you get sent back to the start. And there we go. That was the true final level of the game, Aegibus Rex. With a gem and a platinum relic. Go for the dash, you've earned it. Now, if we take a look at our main menu, you see that we have 104% completed the game. Only 104. Hmm. I was actually stuck here for a long time not knowing how I can get an extra percentage out of it. But if you take a look at the gems, there was a total of 44. No, there's a total of 45. One of the gems is still hidden. Then, and the only way to obtain this gem is to get platinum or gold. So if you get sapphire, ha, go beat that time. Because... Coco will give you a gem if you get all... If you get gold. Now I'm not sure why Coco gives you a gem. Why didn't she give, give it to me earlier? But thanks, thank you anyway. And when you actually get the gem... Fireworks! And 105%. So that's your big reward for 105% of the game. You get fireworks at the end. Yeah. Kind of a crappy one. But hey, it's still something. Also, you get a nice little icon there. You know, for, you know, completing the game. Or doing the, doing a secret level. There we go. Thank you, sister. Thank you. I'm giving a hug. You can't see it, but I'm giving her a hug. Right. Well, that does it for this game. We are now completely done. We've got all the crystals, all the powers, all the gems, and all the relics. Well, all the relics that are still good enough, so... Now what? There's nothing more to do. This LP is completely over now. 
So yeah, that does it for this LP. Stay tuned for one more bonus episode. I'll see you in that one.